Hi, my name is Bud Krause. I'm from Joy of Code. I'm your friendly web design instructor. And I'm going to show you how you can tell very quickly whether or not your web design, or anybody's web design for that matter, is responsive. By responsive, I mean a design that's going to look and work well in all kinds of devices, not just your computer or your desktop application, but mobile devices, of course, such as tablets and cell phones and all that kind of good stuff. So let's start with an example. Not that one. <laughs> we'll start with this one. And um, here we have my website, joyofcode.com, which does use a responsive theme or a responsive design. And uh, the first thing I want to note is a couple of things. One is the navigation is at the top. You can see it over here, which is very typical at the very top of the browser, which is typical today of a lot of web design. And then uh, after the title of the page, I scroll down here and I see that I've got two columns, which is fine. It's got one image. That's it. And also I've got a leave a reply area, a bunch of text boxes over here. That's perfect, okay, for our demonstration. Now, just for information only, the screen resolution here is 1,344 pixels across, but it wouldn't matter what I used for this demonstration. So let me just get that out of the way. And it doesn't matter what browser I'm using either, or what operating system. I'm using Chrome on a Mac, but those things are sort of irrelevant. Remember, the idea is that the design will respond no matter where it shows up. So all you need to do is take that bottom right-hand corner over here and just drag it over to the left, and let's see what starts to happen. Now, as we start to squeeze things, ah, first thing is what we just saw here is a breakpoint that indicates probably this design is going to work well in a tablet. And we notice that the navigation has been replaced by this icon over here, which someone would take their finger and touch, and out comes all the uh, links to our page, our different pages. As I scroll down here, I still have the two-column layout preserved nicely. And I've got my... I'll leave a reply. That's perfect. Okay. Let's see what happens if we go on. Let's just close this up over here. And if we try to squeeze this a little bit more, that is, to shrink the width of the design. And now, right there, when I broke it right at that point, well, what happened is this is probably good for a tablet or a, a mini iPad or something like that. I'd have to actually ch check the device, but you get the point, which is, well, my navigation is still the way it is over here, and that's fine in a smaller device. It's what you want. And if I scroll down here, oh, here's my leave a reply. That's fine. But notice what happened to my sidebar. My right sidebar now has been pushed down here. It's secondary content, and it really does belong right over there. One last little thing I want to do is to move in. all the way over here just like this this is sort of uh, simulates a cell phone and again I still have my navigation over here uh, if I had larger image you would see that it would have shrunken it would have scaled down to fit real nicely into this one um, column layout and if I just scroll through here isn't this nice here's my leave a reply all my text boxes too have been shrunken or the widths have changed to fit the device. That's really nice. Now, for comparison purposes, let's see something that's not responsive. That's this one, okay? And this happens to be my doctor's website. I think it was designed not that long ago, which makes me look at this and say, you know, this website needs a doctor to fix it because it's there's really no excuse to have websites that are not responsive. Well, how do I know? Let's just take a quick look. Again, bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to start squeezing and all right, dragging this over, and nothing is changing, okay? This is really bad. So what happened to the navigation? What happened to the content? What happened to Good question. Don't know if this is going to work very well in a tablet or a cell phone. And since about half of all the Internet traffic today comes from mobile devices, I'd call that inexcusable. There's just no reason. So you want to keep your design nice and clean and fluid. 
and something that will not just look well in all the devices, but work well. And of course, the real way to test all this is to really test it in different devices. But if you want the real quick and dirty way to do this, all you got to do is drag the bottom right hand corner of your browser's window, and just the way I did it, and you can get a pretty good feeling for how is this going to work in other devices other than a desktop application.